Massachusetts courtroom, not so much for what she did, but for what she said. This court, having reviewed the evidence and applied the law thereto, now finds you guilty. Carter and her attorneys look shocked as judge of involuntary manslaughter in the death of her friend, Conrad Roy. He died in a Kmart parking lot. It's crazy, guys, because Revolution is usually like pretty like reasonably priced. And I always love doing makeup videos for you guys. both were. Uh, <laughs> so they were quarantined. Yeah, guys. And so, so. So I was recently watching the Michelle Carter case. And I remember I was one of those people. Maybe I was in a minority, but I was one of those people who was like, at the end of the day, she didn't force him to get in the car. He decided to do that. But then again, he was so susceptible that he was basically, he basically had a mental illness himself, even though Michelle Carter kind of also had, she had like a history of an eating disorder. She wanted to be popular. So I don't think she was mentally sound herself. However, I later came to the point where I was like, you know what? I believe she is partially responsible. And I believe that justice was served. And she spent her time in prison because she knew that he was suicidal and she failed to act. She failed to act. And even a day, three days or a day before he went missing, she she told her friends that, um, she told her friends that he was missing and he ran away and nobody could find him and she thought he was gonna kill himself. So she knew that he was not in a sound state of mind and she may have even been in a more sound state of mind but to me still, I kind of still think that she had her own mental stuff going on. However, I believe that justice was served because she was at least partially responsible. And she milked it, throwing that baseball game, taking all the pictures. So I believe she knew what she was doing. Also, in a weird way, I feel like I'm just speculating. But in a weird way, I feel like she really honestly believed that she was helping Conrad. Because, like, if you read some of her text messages, she's like, this is this is the only way f to help you escape your awful life, your horrible life. So it feels like she actually may have believed that she was actually helping him in a way. And then she probably felt like, hey, not only do I get to help Conrad, but also... I could use this to help me with my popularity. In a weird way, I'm speculating, obviously, but in a weird way, I feel like she felt like she was helping him and she was eating her cake and having it too at the same time. But I could be wrong, but that's like the type of vibe she gives me. The thing to me is, uh, allegedly, she told Conrad to delete all the text messages but he decided not to delete all the text messages that they had so to me personally that makes me feel like he kind of knew what he was doing and low-key he wanted to commit and he just needed that extra push and he was going to do it regardless one day just for the fact that he decided, you know what, I'm going to keep these text messages instead of listening to her 100%. So that makes me feel like he kind of had, he kind of made the choice himself as well. But however, I do believe that she should be held accountable because she knew he was mentally worse off than her. And she failed to act. She failed to call somebody to help. She failed to call the cops. She failed to notify the correct people. She failed to report that, hey, he just said he And she encouraged him to do it. So she was partially responsible for it. And she served her time. And I think justice was served. Whether or not he was going to actually commit by some other time is not relevant because at the end of the day, she still encouraged him to commit it at that time. And he had committed, he had tried to commit 
for and he called a friend and that friend helped him not commit so i feel like he was scared to do it so maybe has she not been there giving him the extra push maybe he wouldn't have committed However, I do still believe that both of them were mentally unwell. Okay, now to piggyback off of that idea that she, Michelle Carter was convicted because she failed to act. How much more Eugenia Cooney's mom? This lady is in videos with her daughter. She can see her daughter looks emaciated. Her daughter looks like She's one of those starving kids in Africa. Her mother can see her for eyes. I usually check on her channel just to see if she's still alive, to be honest. I'm not even going to play with you. Well, it's not a funny incident. So there's nothing to play about. I literally, like every three months, I'll be like, oh, let me check Eugenia Cooney's face YouTube so I can see if this girl is still kicking, is she still alive? Like, I'm so surprised that she has even made it this far, to be honest. I'm very, very surprised. And she has a video on her channel talking about she caught COVID. And I'm I'm very surprised that she was able to beat COVID in her state of um, emaciation. I'm surprised she was able to beat COVID in her state of of extreme thinness because I know once you get to a point where you're that skinny your body your immune system is not working that well your your it looks like she's at the point where her body might start breaking down her muscle which is her heart because that's the only muscle she has left on her body so it's at that point where like I'm really surprised she was even able to beat COVID. And I'm looking at her newest Powerpuff Girl video. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, no way. This girl looks like a, a human anatomy doll. Like, literally, I'm looking at her and I can see her carotid vein. I can see her sternal, sternal mastoric clavicular bone. I can see it all. And I'm just like, this is unacceptable. And her mother is over here talking on camera about both of them catching covid and how she was so worse off than eugenia her mother is smiling in the camera and i honestly at this point i feel like if michelle carter could be convicted of failing to act because her state um assisted suicide was legal in her state assisted suicide was legal and also technically it's free speech to tell somebody to kill themselves. Even though it's wrong, it's still free speech. The reason why she was even convicted in the first place was because she failed to act when she knew somebody was in danger. That is the reason why she was convicted. And if we're going by her being convicted because of that, everybody in the comment section at one point or another have left the comment, hey, Eugenia needs help. Hey, Eugenia needs help. At this point, it's obviously clear that Eugenia is not in a clear mental state. So her mother, who seemingly is in a, they're both adults, obviously, but her mother clearly is seeing that her daughter is underweight. She clearly knows that they took her daughter to an eating disorder clinic maybe like a year or two years ago. And her mother is over here making YouTube videos with her instead of trying to get her daughter help. I feel like if something happens to Eugenia Cooney, and I think we're all thinking it at this point, and I just decided to make a video. I think if something happened to Eugenia Cooney, her mother should be convicted of manslaughter just like michelle carter's was convicted of manslaughter i don't know the mother's mental state of mind i'm not going to pretend to know the mother's state of mind mental state of mind but to sit there on camera and make videos my daughter turning me into a goth girl my um we beat covid and she can clearly see that her daughter is underweight her it's at the point that eugenia's skin is turning gray it is turning gray. I'm literally 
watching her skin color turn gray. Her mother is literally in the video of her. Her mother got the rosy complexion. The mother's face is looking is looking well fed. And she's able to do a video of her daughter. And everybody in the comment section is saying, hey, Eugenio, uh, we need you to get help. And her mother is making videos on YouTube of her. And I think that if anything happens to Eugenia, the mother should be convicted of failing to act. Just like Michelle Carter should be convicted of failing to act. And she was convicted of that crime when she was 18. So I I believe Eugenia's mother could be could be held accountable. I think we were all thinking this, and I just said it. I think we were all thinking it. I really do. Because it's getting to the point where it's too much for me. When I can start seeing your sternocleoid, mastoid, masseter muscles and all the muscles in your neck, it's too much. It's, it's too much.